Greetings and welcome everyone to Retro Game Repairman, where we learn to get vintage video games to run on modern hardware. I'm your host Ace, and today we are viewing a relatively obscure game that has nevertheless received a cult following, Interstate 82. Interstate 82 First released in November of 1999, Interstate 82 is actually a sequel to both Interstate 76 and the Vigilante 8 spin-off series. And in terms of gameplay, it's actually a mixture of both. Being far more arcadey than the original Interstate 76, meaning that it's no longer a simulator, while at the same time somewhat retaining some of the more detailed elements of that game, such as the fact that certain components, such as the car's engine or brakes, can actually be damaged enough that it will disable the car. At the same time, however, Interstate 82 nevertheless manages to introduce new mechanics that make it stand out from both of the previous series. Chief among them being the ability to actually get out of the car and fight on foot, as well as even steal enemy vehicles in this manner. And while the game is known for bugs to this very day, it has nevertheless managed to have an interesting influence in its own right such as being the main inspiration for the Interstate 82 mod for Battlefield 1942, which was and is one of the most popular mods for that game. But going back to the Interstate 82 game itself, while there is a GOG.com version of it, it doesn't exactly run on launch for Windows 10, and that is why we are here to fix that, so let's dive in. Before we continue, however, I do need to mention that the computer that I am using for this test is a Windows 10 64-bit, with 48GB of DDR4 RAM, an i7-6700K processor, and finally a GTX 980 Ti. But moving on, the first step that you should do once you are finished installing the GOG.com version of Interstate 82 is to go into the game's directory and right click and select the properties for launch Interstate 82. From here, make sure to go into the compatibility tab and click on disable full screen optimization. Normally, you'll also want to check reduced color mode and set it to 16-bit. However, I am going to save you some trouble here, as I've uploaded a few files that I use into a zip folder that you can download and simply drop right into your game's directory. Not only do these include the options configuration files, but they also include a few pieces from the game's soundtrack that were left out in the GOG version. So while this step is technically optional, I would recommend getting these files. One point of note here is that I have set the resolution to 1280 by 1024 so if your monitor does not support that resolution, you may want to consider lowering it in the config files. Next up, you'll want to download and extract a program called DXWND. It should be noted, however, that this program is in a .rar file, so you will need to install and use WinRAR if you haven't done so before. But once this is done, you will want to start up DXWND and go into the Options tab. From here, make sure that Expert Mode is checked. Now click on the Edit tab and select Add. Now make sure to set up the Main tab, the Compatibility tab, and the Sound tab exactly as shown here. And also make sure that the Path and Launch options from the Main tab both go to i82stubs.exe. Once you have done all of this, click OK and shut down DXWND. Be sure to select Yes to saving the changes when you do this. Finally, restart DXWND after a few seconds and then try out the game. Congratulations, if you've done everything correctly, your copy of Interstate 82 will be playable, and furthermore, you will be able to experience the game's soundtrack while you play. However, be aware that the soundtrack can be buggy during certain missions, even outright refusing to loop, or even pausing when you decide to get out of vehicles and run around on foot. As I've mentioned, the game does still have a few bugs here and there, but nevertheless, it should at least now be playable. In any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out. I will. Or my name's not Rank Dick. Yeah, whatever. Listen, you will or Mr. Big will have your punk pants. Uh.